Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Uh, we love you here at Cornerstone. We're so excited whether you're one of our students or an adult or whoever you are. Thanks for joining us on our YouTube channel. We're doing some Bible questions and answers. If you have a question, um, enter it in the comments below. We'd love to answer it in a future week. Uh, we're having a lot of fun doing these. So here's the question for this week. Why did Jesus wait three days to rise from the dead? That's an interesting question. Why did Jesus wait three days to rise from the dead? Because he um, was crucified on a Friday and he rose from the dead on Sunday, which doesn't always seem like three days, but in the Jewish way of calculating uh, days, it is. He rose on the third day. Why did he do that? That's a great question. Thank you for asking it, whoever asked it. And um, the answer is this. Many things that happen in the New Testament are um, pictures of things that happened in the Old Testament and they line up perfectly. It's, it's, a, it's a really beautiful thing. Um, um, there was a feast called Passover for the Jews um, and it was on a Friday and, and Passover uh, was the day that Jesus um, died on the cross. Uh, the feast that the Jews celebrated for uh, 1,400 years leading up to Jesus, he died on the exact day because it's a, a perfect picture of what was happening, that Jesus is the Passover. He's our Passover. And then the Jews celebrated a feast called First Fruits on, I think, the 16th day of Nisan, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything to us. And it was on the Sunday after Passover. And so you read these Old Testament stories and then it just pops to life. And Jesus Christ rose from the dead on the Feast of First Fruits because Jesus Christ is the first fruits of the new kingdom. He's the new Adam. He's the new son. He's the, it's amazing. It's amazing that they were celebrating these things for over a thousand years. And then all of a sudden they were fulfilled in a way that perhaps they never even understood they would be. And it continues on. Um, in the Old Testament, after the Feast of First Fruits, 40 days later, they were at the base of Mount Sinai on the day of Pentecost when Moses came down from the mountain carrying the law. And in the New Testament, 40 days after Jesus rose from the dead on the day of Pentecost, was the day not the law came down, but the day the Holy Spirit came down from heaven in tongues of fire on their head. I know this is really like a Bible nerdy kind of answer, but it's, it's, um, it helps me in my faith. It helps me be sure of my faith because this stuff isn't random. It was planned by God. You could never guess or, or have something like this happen by accident. It all aligns so beautifully, so poetically, so wonderfully. And uh, I hope that it'll cause you to love the Bible more, but I hope that more than that, it'll cause you to love God more and love Jesus more. And I hope that you'll continue in that. And uh, if you have any more questions, um, please enter them in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching.